February, Valentine's Day, the world's largest magic convention in Blackpool, England, unofficially kicks off. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top tips and the things that I'm most excited to see throughout this year's convention because it's literally so big and so eventful, event packed, so packed full of events so jam-packed with stuff that it's actually impossible to do everything. So I've been going for 19 years and this is my top tips for getting through Blackpool and also the things that I know as an insider with some connections to some stuff that's going on that I can tell you that you don't want to miss. You'll notice that I said it unofficially starts on the Wednesday because Blackpool officially kicks off on the Thursday morning but for the past year, and now going into two years, myself and Craig Petty, and now this year with Jake Keane, we have an event going on at the House of Secrets. It's a collaborative event between the Magic Podcast and the Black Art Podcast, which I'm a co-host of both. And me and Craig had this idea a couple of years ago, which was to have like a meet and greet slash sort of casual preamble to the convention. What we found through hosting the Magic Podcast was that so many people had never been to a Magic convention before or were quite anxious about going to such a big convention and not knowing anybody in person there. So we come up with the idea of having a, like a little meet and greet event where you could put names to faces and make some sort of convention buddies before it actually starts. It went down a storm last year. We filmed some secret projects there. You may have seen Pete Turner making people fall asleep on the floor and stuff. This year is going to be just as exciting, just as cool. It is a ticketed event. Tickets were free, but they immediately sold out on day one. However, there are going to be people that don't turn up. So come along to the House of Secrets about 7 p.m. on the Wednesday. And if people don't turn up, we'll be able to let you in. And then we can unofficially start Blackpool. So that's the first thing you don't want to miss, especially if you're getting into town early and you're a loose end. Secondly, straight away on the Wednesday night, I'll be starting to put together my best tricks of Blackpool video. If you already follow me, then you know every year I put together the first video to come out, which is the best tricks of Blackpool. Last year it was like the 56 best tricks, the year before it was the 40 best tricks. I always get messages from people saying they wanted to be in the video, they wanted to show something cool on camera, and they didn't get to do it. So I'm telling you right now, if you want to be in the video, come and find me on Wednesday night or any time throughout the weekend and ask, can you show me a trick to go into the video? I will film it and you will make it into the video. I've said video, 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 video 3,000 times then, ish, roughly. Now, it's a day that ends in Y, so that means Craig Petty has a brand new trick coming out. However, just like last Blackpool, we filmed the performances so that it can be released later on. I'm telling you guys, this trick is a stone cold killer and every single one of you that sees it is going to try to buy it off Craig on the spot. So I'm going to be there filming performances of Craig's brand new trick. It'll come out in a couple of months, but if you want to see it first, hunt him down and ask him to show it to you. Tell him Lloyd sent you. Okay, shh. Speaking of new releases, I have some exciting news to share. I have two brand new exclusive products coming out only in time for Blackpool 2024. And you can only get them from me. Yeah, I have two brand new exclusive products coming out. You can only get them from my website, Lloyd.tv. I intend on bringing some to Blackpool so that you can get them off me in person. But the reality is they're probably going to sell out before then because I did put them on pre-sale to my Patreon. The first release is called Cross Words and it's my unique take on a book test using a crossword. And I don't say unique because of the crossword element. I say unique because of the method or the principle that I've developed for this. It'll get you creative juices running wild. And best of all, it sort of uses the knowledge that mentalists already have against them to fool them. So that's called crosswords. The second brand new release is called Six. This is my ultra clean lottery ticket prediction. Here's a snippet from the trailer. Oh, That's the actual fuck. He's actually put them off. Oh my god. Now, if you've seen me anywhere for the past six months, then you've seen me perform in six over and over and over again to anybody who will watch it. And unlike a lot of my releases, 
Six is purely a worker. This isn't really designed to fool magicians, although it does. This is designed for those of you that go out and perform magic. It's beautiful, but it's bold. Because what I don't like is convoluted effects where you have to force the number with a calculator or loose change or times or anything like that. Or that you have to use like massive amounts of equipment like printers and crazy things. I just want direct piece of magic that I perform on me all the time. They say the best tricks in the world are the ones that you actually do. And the ones that I actually do are the ones that are naturally on me as a real EDC. Not an EDC where you find a reason to carry it, but for me, it's just in my phone case. I do it all the time, everywhere, because it's always on me. With that being said, it is bold. I liken this to the crosscut force of lottery predictions. If the crosscut force was released today, then beginners or inexperienced or in incapable magicians would laugh at it and turn their nose up on it. It would be destroyed on the magic cafe. However, people that actually go out and perform and do magic know that the crosscut force is like a nuclear bomb type of weapon for your card arsenal. This is kind of the same thing. It's super beautiful, but it's super bold. And that's why you can only get it from my website, Lloyd.tv. Because if there was thousands of copies, then this would end up in the hands of beginners or inexperienced magicians, and they'd butcher it, and they wouldn't like it. So there's an extremely limited amount available from Lloyd.tv, along with crosswords. You can get them as a bundle or individually. You can even get the Black Art Bundle, which features Jake Keane's Unholy Road book, which is a is incredible, packed filled with brand new tricks. I made these available early to my Patreon subscribers last week. The reality is they're probably pretty much 99.99% are going to be sold out by Blackpool, meaning you won't be able to get any off me at Blackpool. I'll probably have no stock left. So if you want to be certain that you get your hands on a copy of Crosswords and Six, stock genuinely is incredibly limited. So head to Lloyd.tv to pick up your copy now before they're sold out. Here's an amazing Blackpool tip from my friend Rich Relish. One of the things he said was, like most people write down a list of all the dealers they want to go and see or all the lectures they want to catch up with, he's writing down a list of all the people he wants to catch up with or new friends that he wants to make. And I think that's such a holistic and clever way of doing Blackpool because ultimately, if you think back, if you've ever been to a magic convention or if you've ever been to Blackpool Magic Convention and you think back over the years, what are the things that you remember from each one? then it's very, very rarely the tricks or specifically the lectures. Most of the good memories you get from these places, in fact, almost all of them for me, come from the friends and the fun that we have. So make that something to focus on. It's much more fulfilling to have fun with your old friends and new, instead of just trying to go and see and buy as many different things and then it just gets lost in the blur of every other Blackpool that's come before it. And the best place to do this, the best place to make friends and have the fun and the real jams and the real lectures, of course, is the Ruskin. If you've never been to Blackpool before, the Ruskin is a pub slash hotel slash bar about two streets behind the Winter Gardens. And that really is where the magic happens. It's those three in the morning, late night sessions where you see the tricks of the convention or the stuff you've never seen before. And this is where your friends will mainly hang out for most of the convention. So what I'll tell you is go to the Ruskin as much as you can, unless there's something that you really wanna see head to the Ruskin because you'll end up making brand new friends or catching up with old buddies and that's really where you will see the best stuff of the whole convention. And on that note, the big thing that I'll tell you, the big secret I find from magic conventions is don't spend time chasing people around just because they have a name or they're sort of famous within our community. The best people, the people that I always have the most fun with or end up showing me the tricks that absolutely fry me are the people that without being offensive, are people that are unknowns, you know, the people that aren't huge names or gods of the industry. It's the everyday normal people like me and you that just hang out in a group and you'll end up finding somebody who's a hidden gem. 19 years, 19 different Blackpools, every single time. The best new trick that I see is from somebody that I've never met before and we end up making friends. There's a term called a proho, which are people that just chase around somebody because they've got clout and they want to try and work their way up the social ladder. Don't be a proho. Be a real one, sit down with normal people and you just might see your favorite thing of the whole weekend, probably buried away in some back corner of the Ruskin bar. Following on from that, when you are sitting down and jamming with people, especially if you're a newcomer, then it's so easy to glaze over when someone shows you a trick. Your mind is gonna be running wild with ideas and, and everything you wanna show other people. But remember, it's important to be interesting, but it's more important to be interested. 
That means when someone's showing you a trick, don't be waiting for them to stop so you can show them what you're thinking of. Actually invest in them. Think about it. Indulge them. Because the thing is, they've probably been nervous. They've probably been practicing. They're waiting to showcase their new creation or the new product they've just purchased six months ago. And they've been warming up. They show it to a magician. And some magician is going to be the guy that, that can't wait for that person to stop talking and performing so they can just show them what they've been doing. Give someone a minute. Give them a few minutes. Ask them why they like the trick. Maybe talk with them about how you think they could improve it and genuinely jam with them. The big thing we always say is put your deck down. Put your deck down and let someone perform to you. There's nothing worse than talking to someone who just can't wait to tell you how amazing they are. And the other thing is, if someone's doing a trick and it's like, say it's a card trick and they control the card to the top and then they have this amazing super visual reveal, magicians have a tendency to go, whoa, when someone does a really good pass, but then they they don't care about this really incredible visual reveal or whatever it's gonna be that the magician may have spent months working on. So just have a bit of a decorum, a bit of awareness. Yes, people are gonna do passes and magician moves, but think about what it is they're trying to show you and engage with them on that level. The big Blackpool tip, and I tell this to everybody every year, apart from the thing which is repeated by everybody in the world, use deodorant, spray, wash, shower, brush teeth, these are just basic hygiene facts is bring a pair of gloves. Blackpool is on the Irish Sea and it's right next to the sea and the wind that comes through at this time of year are ice cold. But I don't know about you, there's nothing more embarrassing when you've come in, your hands are frozen, you've got like frostbite on your fingers, you see someone you've been waiting to jam with for ages, you go to do the latest move you've been working on and you suddenly can't move your fingers. A pair of gloves will solve all your problems. There's the Blackpool Magic app. Go and download it from the App Store. That's the best place to go and see all the dealers and work out your timings and events and how you're gonna get from place to place. I don't wanna spend too much time talking about that because everybody's talking about that. So go and download the app and figure out who you don't wanna miss. Personally for me, the big one is probably John Bannon. That's the lecture I'm not going to miss. My tip for the dealers hall is to do it bit by bit. So don't try to go in there and do it all in one hit on the first morning. There's a few different sections to the dealer's hall, but there's like the main section, which is like four aisles. I, I generally tend to do like one aisle and then go and grab a coffee because that's going to take you like an hour if you do it properly piece by piece. And oftentimes it's the dealers that you won't recognize, not the big names, but the dealers that are maybe a small independent dealer that will show you something really cool. So do take time to stop at every dealer store along the way and try and ask them to show you what they're excited about. And with that being said, then yeah, just don't try and hammer it all out because it'll all just become a blur and you'll end up doing the same thing again and again and again and you'll actually not take all of it in. But when you do find something you really like, support your dealers. Yes, you can try and wait till the Sunday and try and get a last minute deal. And I know some people do that, but ultimately we are all in this together. We're all independent magicians. We're all self-employed. So even if somebody owns a magic shop, they're still self-employed. So instead of trying to scrimp and scrape and get a pound off here and there, Blackpool, for a lot of these dealers, it's the thing that keeps the lights on for them, keeps the shops running throughout the year. Like I live in a seaside town. Our trade for this town all happens in the summer, so that keeps the, the shops going over the winter. It's kind of the same thing for a lot of these brick and mortar magic stores. So if you love magic, support your dealers. Don't try and scrape and skim every penny off that you can and make them panic until the Sunday. If you see a trick and you like it, pick it up there and then. Speaking of products in the dealer hall, I try not to, in the lead up to Blackpool, aside from like my own things and what my close friends are doing, I try not to keep my finger on the pulse of the new products. And that's purely because I love experiencing magic with fresh eyes. I don't want to know the method before seeing the effect. I don't really want to know what the effect's going to be. The beauty of Blackpool is that live magic in-person experience. And that's why I want to go in that dealer hall and see everything as a layman, essentially. But I do know of a couple of things. And the one that I'm most excited to see, and I have had a tiny sneak peek of this, comes from an absolute powerhouse of two creators, Mark Lemon and Mark Kirstein. Go and find Mark Kirstein's stand. And Mark Lemon will also be there. And they have something called Devious. This is, this is technology that I don't even think should be allowed to be on sale. It's, I, it, you know it's Mark Kirstein and, and you already know Mark Lemon, two geniuses. You can already guess kind of what it's gonna be about, but you also have no idea. 
So that's the one thing that I'm excited to go and just see there and then and experience it firsthand. So that's it, that's Blackpool in a nutshell. Remember, don't get too drunk. Remember to have a wash, eat food, get some rest, wear comfy trainers, all that good stuff. It's a long few days, but they're genuinely the most exciting days of the year. Remember, if you wanna get six and crossword before they sell out, then you have to head to Lloyd.tv right now and pick them up or you probably won't get them. The thing that I'm most excited for is seeing all of your beautiful faces. Old friends, new friends, come up, say hi, let's go grab food, let's go and sit down, let's go and jam in the rest skin. I can't wait to be amongst it. Blackpool, I'm coming for you, 2024. See you soon, peace.